Look at me! I'm the first to admit, I throw around lots of obscure references. It's a habit I picked up from a childhood full of Animaniacs, Dexter's Lab, Pinky and the Brain, and the real major leagues of pop culture consciousness, Freakazoid and Space Ghost. Sometimes I feel like I'm trying too hard. But at least I have some semblance of context, if only in my own wildly distorted head. Johnny Bravo, the Hacha Wacha Fiddle Faddle Dato Rama, eschews this notion of context and just stumbles through its meager existence as a low res, low quality collection of DS minigames, bringing shame not only to its own storied history as a Cartoon Network icon, but to everything it touches from Monty Python to Press Your Luck to Happy Days. Holy guacamole! So Johnny and his mum are watching the selection announcements for the hurdy-gurdy Ska Paradise Data Rama, accompanied by those two characters they added after the show Jump the Shark. You know, the Tom Kenny voiced nerd, silent in this version, as a little thing called Spengbab or whatever seems to be taking up his time as of late, and the annoying precocious cookie sales girl or whatever. Look, this show hasn't even been good since the days when it was flanked by the Powerpuff Girls and Cow and Chicken. So he goes on this game show where he's opposed by some other muscle-bound hunk, competing in trite minigames for a romantic evening with the Treacle Queen of York. I can't even get behind this. Treacle isn't even inherently funny. The Earthworm Jim cartoon made a reference to Haggis in each episode. That was funny. Treacle? Nah. Your host for this monstrosity is a heart on a video screen with lips and a mustache, who introduces each game and then admits that his explanation is half-assed and that you should consult the help section of the pause menu to learn exactly what's going on. There are eight games in all, and frankly, each is a downright chore. I can understand a food fight or the typical strongman sledgehammer bell thing. Sucking up mice with a vacuum, though, seems a bit of a stretch, and playing connect the dots with imprecise touchscreen mechanics is cause enough for frustration. But the real winner here is the recycling game where you have to use the stylus to set your direction, then hold a button to keep your aim there while you use the stylus again to wind up and throw the trash into its receptacle. Unfortunately, if you're right-handed, you're kind of screwed as to how exactly you're going to hold the DS and press buttons while stylusing. It's quite possibly the worst conceived minigame I've ever played, even worse than Final Fantasy VII Snowboard. <laughs> The only possible benefit from all this nonsense is that you might unlock a clip from the show. Here's a better idea. Instead of disgracing your DS with this thing, just get the cartoon itself on DVD. It's not hard to find. Sometimes games like this only appeal to the hardcore fans, but I doubt you're going to find that many die-hard Johnny Bravo fans anyway. They were purged in the great cleansing that resulted in Saved by the Bell on Cartoon Network. I rest my case. Hubba, hubba!